Let's talk some of that crowd strike move. As uh, I mean, it seemed like uh, Jenny that there should be some repercussions uh, beyond just a couple analyst cuts here, and it seems like that's going to be the case with Delta. That's kind of what I thought when I first saw the stories. I know it was annoying for us, frankly, because it impacted our PCs, and it was annoying for the world that day when we saw basically technology cease to exist. It felt like, but yeah. no, it was no more annoying than it was for Delta, who had to cancel seven thousand flights. I didn't have charts for like half an hour. So it, half an hour, I didn't have a computer for the entire day. It was <laughs> ridiculous. But I feel like. Whenever these situations happen, sure, on the day of the event, it's irritating, but I always wonder, like, financial impact. And I feel like we're starting to see that trickle in. We're like, it's going to end up costing CrowdStrike, frankly, I think, a lot of money unless they're able to somehow, like, sort of round about the, the, these lawsuits. But Delta has hired an attorney to pursue these damages that they're claiming are coming from CrowdStrike as well as Microsoft. The report did say that no lawsuits specifically, though, have been filed, which I think is a pretty key asterisk, although they want compensation from these two companies. So according to the report, the estimated cost of these outages was between around 350 to 500 million, with the airline dealing with more than 176,000 requests for refund or reimbursement after wow. those 7,000 flights were canceled. So here we go. I mean, this is just like, How I think the typical- refund requests? 176,000. Wow. It's a lot. That's a lot of money. That's a lot, a lot of, of like travels. putting people up in hotels, having yeah. to figure out accommodations. I mean, that's expensive. So mm -hmm. 350 to 500 million, I think is probably to me, I mean, I, I really had no frame of reference, but to me that that seems actually fairly reasonable. Delta and Microsoft have not responded, but again, this is not them filing a lawsuit. They've hired an attorney, which is Come. what we're seeing things move on today. Step one. Yeah, step one, right. So d as we know, I mean, no surprise, CrowdStrike has fallen 25% since this incident in mid-July. It's now basically unchanged on the year. It is still up about 1.4%, I'll give them that, but also 16 analysts have cut their price targets over the last several weeks, Ooh. but I I think more notably than that, even with these price target cuts, the average price target right now is around 300, 230, or excuse me, $266 a share. That still implies upside. And 51 analysts cover this name. Only eight have holds and two have sell or sell equal ratings. So the mm -hmm. rest still have buys. I mean, you still have a very buyish, buy or bullish leaning skew among those that cover this name. So totally. even though this was a disastrous event, the street still really likes this name. You know, one of the things I heard during this was that it was actually going to be bullish for CrowdStrike because it was going to highlight to the world how crucial their technology is. I didn't hate that thesis. That was a fun mm -hmm. thesis, but now it's kind of looking like a galaxy brain, like bullish justification that's probably a little bit uh, uh, too, too cute. It's more that they're going to have some major <laughs> repercussions and probably going to have to pay some stuff out and they might lose some customers because what's the only defense CrowdStrike could argue is, I mean, the only one I can think of is they should say, well, these companies should have other backups. And well, then you're basically offering competition and opening. So I don't know how CrowdStrike wins from this. I know, I feel like this was like an insulated black swan event. Sure, if they're able to respond with like overwhelming quality control, I think that they obviously can recover from this. But I don't know if this is the way you want your name to be known because I yeah. feel like now CrowdStrike yeah. overnight became a household name and not for a good reason. Exactly. I, I, bad PR, it, it's difficult to come back from that. We all can recall like the incidences where a company made like a huge flop. I mean, Boeing, Southwest, and like, it doesn't really leave you for, for a good reason. So I, I don't know if CrowdStrike will be the same, but so far I, I think the financial ramifications are still to be known. Okay. All right. Yeah, I agree for sure. Okay. Uh, Delta going after it. Well, at least hiring lawyers. Uh, appreciate that. Thanks, Jenny Horn. Okay, CrowdStrike going to be under a little bit of pressure here this morning.